never had any contact with humans at all. He was very scared. When we saw him, it was very hard to take it in. Oh, he's in a horrible condition. He had a really bad infection of his eyes. And so I knew he couldn't see me. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and reach around behind him. But his senses, I guess, were elevated from not being able to see. He could hear me. As soon as he sensed I was close, he would pull back and start moving away. <laughs> Uh, it was like this little bush that he was in. So we were going side to side, front to back. Back and forth, I just kind of reached in and went over top of him, and I was able to get him. You could tell he was scared, but he was just letting it happen because he didn't know what else to do. Poor dude. All right. Good boy. He was feral, and one of the main things is just keeping them in an area where they can't hide. So we had him in a smaller crate so that he couldn't run away from us. And we started treating him for the mange right off the bat. so big now, hey? Big healthy boy. He comes out now and he'll lay on the bed. You know what tickles? And then when you get him relaxed and you start grabbing down his back, he puts his booty in the air and then he'll look around for more tickles. It was assumed that he would lose both eyes and we were devastated, but his right eye really healed up. So has a little bit of issues, but he can definitely see. He does really well. He runs around with the kittens and things like that, so we're really glad that he was able to do that. Hey, sexy boy. The whole rewarding part is how much we invested and the result that we got from that. Holly. He's a happy guy now that can see us now, and it's really hard for us to even think about ever letting him go because we are all in, so invested, and we love him so much. <laughs> Don't forget again, Apollo. 